to our channel. So in today's lecture, I'm going to talk about uniformity of weight and I will explain this uniformity of weight with the help of an example and uh, these uh, formulas. So what is uniformity of weight? So uniformity of weight is calculated for individual tablets. Like uh, most of the times you are confusing uniformity of weight with the average weight. So how it differ? Like say average weight of the tablet and in doing the analysis average weight for 20 tablets is taken so these 20 tablets will be taken together that will give the average weight if we take 20 tablets together and then divide by 20 you will get the average weight now for uniformity of weight what you need to do is you need to weigh individual tablets individual tablet weight so you have to weigh 20 tablets individually. Let's say we have ibuprofen tablets. Ibuprofen comes in different strengths. So let's suppose for one strength, it's the average weight is 200 mg. And for uniformity, this is the parameter for the uniformity. And uniformity parameter is given in specification that is ibuprofen 200 mg plus minus 5%. So how do we calculate this 5%? Uh, and uh, how do we check the parameter if our tablet is passing the uniformity of weight or not? So let's suppose we have taken 20 tablets. 1, 2, 3, up to 20. So for the first tablet, let's suppose for the third tablet, the weight is 186. And for like, let's say 19 tablets, the weight is 208 mg. This is in mg. So 186 would be our lowest weight and 206 mg is our highest weight. So we need to check either it fall, uh, it passes that 5% or not. If it's going out, then we have to check accordingly. So how are we going to calculate this? That's our, uh, uh, for the lowest variation, that's our lowest variation. For the lowest variation, lowest weight of the tablet, that is, let's pay let's suppose here uh, i have mentioned 186 so that would be 186 divided by average weight you have calculated average weight accordingly for the 20 tablets together and then you can have that average weight then you have to multiply with 100 and the whole thing minus 100 you will get the lowest variation and in a similar manner highest variation and see how i gonna calculate uh, so see i have placed uh, the lowest weight of the tablets and then the average weight that we have calculated uh, when we put 20 tablets together we will get the average weight that for example that is 200 then multiplied with 100 and the whole term minus 100 so when we use the calculator we will get the value minus 7 percent and in the similar manner highest weight is over uh, 208 so divided by average weight multiplied by 100 minus 100 will get plus 4 percent or we can say that that is a plus four percent so from here you see that the lowest variation is below our limit limit is plus minus five percent but this is going minus seven percent not minus five percent so in this way so if it's failing then we have to report accordingly that this tablet uh, weight is not according to that specification mentioned so in a way you can figure out any of the uniformity of the weight for the any tablets using this formula if you have any question regarding this topic, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.